If you've ever listened to music in the past year, you probably recognize her. This is Laufi. In true Icelandic form, it's Laufi. 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 She's a singer, but not just any singer. She is blowing up. Despite the fact that her music is jazz, which is a huge handicap because jazz is not popular. I mean, a while ago, Spotify literally got exposed for paying freelancers to make jazz songs and then making up artists to feature on Spotify playlists. But when you search them, this person does not exist. No social media, no records for sale, uh, nothing. They are not a real person. All of that revenue from all those streams is going to nobody. Technically, it's going back to Spotify because there's no one for them to pay because no one exists. Because jazz was struggling, but one person beat all the odds. And that's Leve. She's Icelandic Chinese, if you're wondering why it's pronounced like that. Here's a little taste of her music if you haven't heard it before. It's worse to be nothing with you. I have done the math. There's no solution. We'll never last. Cause I think I've fallen in love this time. I blinked and suddenly I had a Valentine. Her music is majestic. She's literally performing with concert orchestras. But you might be surprised to know that for the longest time, no one really knew who she was. Until spring 2023, when she blew up out of nowhere. In the last three months, she quadrupled her monthly listeners on Spotify. She even doubled it by gaining 6 million within the last 30 days. 480 million TikTok views, 2.6 million followers, and probably the most dedicated fan base since Prime Mitski. How is it possible to get so popular so fast? What did she do? How did she do it? Just curious. I'm asking for a friend by the way. She didn't change her genre to get more listeners. She didn't release a new album. She didn't spend millions on advertising. She didn't start posting controversial tweets. She didn't star in any movies. She didn't sell out. She didn't get a shout out from Drake. And she didn't make TikToks about her songs having magical powers. And it's not like people suddenly decided to start listening to jazz. Cause trust me, 99% of jazz artists still never get streams. They never get followers, and all they get is an eviction letter in the mail when they can't pay rent because all people listen to is The Weeknd, sped up version, Taylor's version, remix, with insert random high profile features here, and whatever this is. For decades, no one has succeeded, but Leve did. She did it by becoming a TikTok meme, not in a bad way, not like a meme where people actually make fun of you. I mean like this kind of meme where you act goofy and relatable on TikTok. And even though she's a singer who performs at concerts and shows, TikTok allows people to get to see her offstage. They get to see her real personality. And the biggest thing that you immediately notice is that she's not so different from you and me. She watches and does the same TikTok trends that all of us do. She has the same sense of humor. Little white men from the United States scurry to me like rats and the same relatable hopeless romantic attitude that all of us have gone through at some point and she encourages people to meme her like honestly just take a look at some of what she posts i don't think there's any getting out of you know it's it's the trenches i've rejected affection for years and years you might not realize it, but this is genius. Cause she uses the style to promote her music like no one else. Of course, she's definitely not the first one to advertise her music on TikTok, but she posts on TikTok and Instagram so often that no one else can even compete. Pumping out three or more TikToks a day and all of them get close to a million views or more because they're funny. They're relatable, they're creative, they're low budget. She doesn't just post concert clips and teasers and music video trailers. Ahem. Like some people do. She posts whatever the people want. And part of that just means embracing when people make memes about her. It means playing along with running jokes from her fan base because that's how you get super close to your audience. Jalen, you've been going crazy. Oh, the let me now introduce you to some of these running jokes. First, that even though she makes typical girly romance music, the majority of her fans are dudes who secretly dance and lip sync to her music when no one's watching. I mean, let's be honest, after pretending to love Travis Scott and Drake for 8 hours a day, 
We all know the relief of getting home and just being able to take off the disguise. Forget all the trendy alpha males on the internet. Real men listen to Loewe. There's a joke that her music is perfectly tailored to sad people, people obsessed with romance, and in general just people who are slightly mentally ill. Some fans even go as far to say that she's Mitski but without trauma. And if you don't know who Mitski is, she's basically Loewe but with trauma. There's a running joke about how no one pronounces her name right So now. it's not Laufey? Loewe? Loewe? Lou? Lau? Laufey? Leve? Loewe? Lofi? Luffy? Luffy? I mean the options are endless. And another one is that her identical twin sister, whose name is Junya, um, has her bio set as Leve burner account and she refuses to change it. It's actually just a clone of Leve and they're both actually the same person. Yes, she actually has a twin. And yes, the fans love it. Not everyone knows she's a twin, and it's kind of a fun fact that you won't know unless you follow her for a while. Stuff like this builds this kind of lore behind her that you'll only know if you're a true fan. But it's genius, because when you show people these fun little facts about you, that's what gets your fans to bond with each other and make memes about you. Memes are magical. Do you remember this song? I'm feeling lonely. Oh, I wish I found a lover that could hold me. And you've probably seen lately the same thing is happening to Loi Vei's song from the start. It's blowing up right now. There are thousands, millions, maybe even trillions of TikToks about the song. Like you could scroll forever and still not reach the end. That's how many there are. People just keep on doing her advertising for her and it's working. I'm not gonna act like we've never seen songs on TikTok blow up before. Of course, this isn't the first time, but this is different. This isn't Olivia Rodrigo or Steve Lacey or Ice Spice. This is totally not a genre of music you'd expect TikTok people to listen to. But somehow, this bossa nova style jazz song is all the rage, and it's just so heartwarming to see. And I found some pretty creative TikToks people have made with this song. It's a girl to do, lying on my bed staring into the blue. But the biggest reason why I think Loewe's music is blowing up is because she encourages people to meme her. She plays along with all the jokes people make about her. If someone makes a weird TikTok of her, she'll react to it. If someone roasts her for being single, she'll react to it. If someone makes a funny TikTok about her song, she'll react to it. Twice. So if you're a fan, it's a no-brainer. Why not take a crack making your own memes for a chance to get recognized by the one and only? At this point, with these TikToks, she's grown a community of super fans who are just obsessed with everything she does. Take a look at this account that posts an update every single day about whether or not it's her birthday. Daily. I think we can safely say a community has grown on the internet that absolutely loves Loewe. And without her massive social media presence, she might have just stayed as this underrated, underappreciated romantic jazz singer forever. The obvious takeaway from this is that TikTok is the new meta for growing as a musician. If you want people to discover you, you have to start posting TikToks to market yourself. But to be honest, not everyone is a fan of that. I remember seeing an article a while ago about Charlie XCX and Halsey getting mad at their labels for forcing them to start making TikToks to promote their music. And I understand why. After a while, it might start feeling like a marketing job instead of a music job. But if you're a fan of Leve, which hopefully you are by now, I hope you start to appreciate just how much effort she puts into marketing her music and building a close connection with her fans. Because that's what got her from here to here in such a short time. And if you've ever thought about making music one day or being an artist or a comedian or anything that requires a fan base, Keep this in mind, TikTok is your best friend. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.